What's up guys? Today we're looking at some PCB trays and part feeders for the Lumen PNP. I'm still setting everything up in OpenPNP and I haven't configured every little bit yet. I have it moving around, I have it picking up parts, um, I have it placing them, uh, but I just wasn't really thrilled with how the uh, feeder trays and the PCB holder uh, was set up, at least the ones that I got with the kit. So I redesigned them. So this was my first attempt at redesigning the feeders. So uh, one thing that I added was I added a bunch of holes in the bottom uh, and I also made like an Uber part. So there is a bunch of like smaller parts uh, for the trays that, um, you know, only had like a couple of these eight millimeter feeders. And then there's a few others that only had like a couple, um, you know, 12 millimeter and 24 millimeter uh, trays. So I, I decided, okay, I'm going to put them all in one piece. So I did that and then I, I have the little tabs on the side so you can screw it down. But I found that even with the holes, it was still hard to, to place things. And I ended up having to move the, uh, the pick and place head nozzle swapper over to the left. But then when I did that, then in the future, when I add a second head to it, I wouldn't be able to have the, the second pick and place head come in and do the tool change because it was too far over to the left. So um, so that got me thinking, okay, how can I make this a little bit smaller, uh, maybe break it up into just the eight millimeter uh, strips and then the other part being the 12 millimeter and the uh, 24 millimeter strips. So after that, I came up with uh, this design. And so this design, um, I added a little slot in the bottom here and what I came up with was rather than screw it down, I have these little binder clips and then you can just stick the binder clip in and clip it to the edge of the build plate. Uh, and that works really well. Um, one thing that I didn't like about this design, um, I have it set up so that you print the, the, the feeder tray portion as one part and then like the legs that you clip on as a second part. And then uh, I just super glued them together and I didn't really want that step. I wanted it all together as one piece. You can just print it out super easy, uh, super simple. Um, and so I went through a few different iterations and then I got to this. So this uh, is printed with no supports. Uh, you can see at the bottom, there's quite a bit of sagging because it's bridging all the way across that. Uh, so when you're printing this, uh, make sure that you have at least four bottom layers because uh, it's gonna take a little bit to build up enough support to have something to, to print on top of uh, just because that bridge is just so long. But um, yeah, so it's it's doesn't quite have as much weight to it. Uh, it can be printed all in one piece. Uh, it's got a lip on the side for the clips to go on. Um, the, the clips, the parts clear it so you can just barely slide them through there. Um, and I, I I designed it so that it could be printed on the plate like this. Uh, the one that was included in the Lumen PNP kit was designed to be printed vertically, uh, which I that's just terrifying to me. Uh, so I, I put some chamfers in the slots that run down the length. Uh, and so that allows you to just slide the part in and uh, it doesn't need any support when it's printing that bit. So this is the feeder tray portion. And so I took what I learned from this and I did the same thing on the uh, PCB portion. So I designed it for my boards, which are 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. So what's good about this design is it allows you to just clip to the edge. And like I said before, with the feeders, uh, you have that clearance on all of the screw heads that are on uh, the build plate itself. Uh, and one of the nice things too, is you can adjust this really quickly. Um, you can slide it back and forth on the build plate and get your parts positioned where you need them. Uh, and then once you have it positioned, you can add an extra set of clips and um, it's solid on the build plate. It's not moving anywhere. So super cool parts, really useful uh, if you're building 
uh, Illumin PNP. So if you're interested in printing some of these for your own pick and place machine, I've got a link in the description to Prusa printers. Uh, you can download these parts uh, and print them out. It has all the print settings that you need. I also included the step files if you want to modify these, uh, you know, maybe make like your own custom tray. I don't know. Feel free to play with it. I hope you enjoy this. Give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Comment down below if you have any ideas of how this can be improved. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.